his first visit to a foreign nation since assuming the presidency, Mr. Kennedy arrives in Ottawa on a visit of state. He is greeted at the airport by Governor General George P. Vanier and the Prime Minister John Diefenbaker. Mr. Kennedy is taking his first step in personal international diplomacy with this visit, which precedes his visit to France next month and a tentative meeting with Khrushchev in Vienna. He has a busy two-day schedule and first goes to Government House, where he will stay, and there he attends a state dinner. While it's a highly formal occasion, it gives the president the opportunity to become further acquainted with Canadian leaders before other international discussions. The next day, he goes to Parliament to address that governing body on problems which face the two countries. Mrs. Kennedy, who charmed the Canadians, takes her place in the spectators' gallery to hear her husband. His speech follows a two-and-a-half-hour conference with the Prime Minister that touched on ten points, from Southeast Asia to the Soviet threat to Berlin. In this address, Mr. Kennedy appeals to Canada to join the Organization of American States, of which Canada is not now a member. Without mentioning Cuba by name, he says nothing is more vital than Canadian-U.S. unity when the political shape of the hemisphere is changing. He goes on to say that while geography has made us neighbors, necessity makes us alive. Elizabeth opens the Chelsea Flower Show, a highlight of the spring season. Also attending is Princess Margaret, for this event is a must on the royal calendar.